Up next, Frontline Jerusalem with Earl Cox. In the president's speech regarding the nuclear pact with Iran, he expressed sympathy with Israel for objecting to the deal, then rebuked Israel for being the only country in the world politically against the Iranian deal. So, in his attempted humiliation of Israel, it was all but said that Israel is on her own. But Israel is not alone in her objections. However, the objections expressed by the Arab countries are mentioned only quietly. Israel has been unfairly undercut politically, making her look isolationist, when in fact others have also raised objections, and rightfully so. The Iran deal will surely lead to a nuclear arms race in the Middle East, and Israel knows this, and so do a sizable number of members of Congress. I'm Earl Cox in Jerusalem, reminding you to support this station because it supports Israel.